Welcome to Fitness with Cindy. I'm excited to bring you a chair exercise today because sometimes our folks maybe are recovering from an injury or surgery and they can't put weight on that joint that just got repaired. Also, people new to exercise this will be great for. You may just have a day you don't feel up to a standing aerobic routine, but you know you got to get moving. So I want you to have a sturdy chair and a couple of weights so we can get some weight bearing exercises in there. If you don't have weights at home, two water bottles will do the trick or two cans of soup. So let's have fun with this seated workout. Make sure you're a little forward in the chair and you're pulled upright in the chair. Good posture, feeling good. We're gonna start with a simple warm up, just a simple march. Just getting the blood to the lower body is a start, right? Nothing too hard. So let's add in a little bit of upper body, just moving those shoulders up and down to get the blood into them. It's the blood that brings the oxygen and nutrients to our body. And you're just simply marching, right? Good, take your arms forward and back, squeeze those shoulder blades. Oh, that feels good. Just stretch one leg forward, lengthening out those muscles, right? Little heel stretch front. Good. Now step it up and do continuous heels, stretching those ankles, those calves. Let's add some punches. Nice and easy to get that blood flowing. Four, three, two, one, back to the marching, pump those arms. They're near your heart so they keep the blood flowing near that heart. Good, give me a few shoulder rows. Feels good to get those unlocked. Take your march wide just to open up these hips and then back together. And take it wide and back together. Ah, feels good. Knee lifts, just slow first. Cause let's think, oh, we're just getting that blood flow going. Nice, now on the tempo, just lift them up. Lift one knee, then the other knee. Good, let's do a little reach for the sky with those. Nice and easy, right? Back to the marching. Give me a few little toe taps just to wake up those ankles, a few little heels. Oh, lift one hip again and the other hip. Can you take that over to the side like you're stepping in and out of the bathtub, in and out of the car, moving that hip and the other way. Oh, just right over to the side. Very nice. Let's take one out and the other out and then in and in, just moving these hips a bit. And in, good, give me some kicks just to stretch those knees. Maybe a little snap just to warm those hands up. Just enjoy the music and move so that blood is flowing. Good, march it out again. A little stampede just to wake it up now that we're getting warmer. Back to temple, a little stampede and take it wide. Oh, let's do a little hula hoop in that chair for the lower back. And then the other way. Always good to add in some stretches in the morning. So let's press these back and heel toe those ankles in. Grab that chair and just stretch forward. Stretch to the side. Opening those ribs, and again, good, round back into that chair, just to wake up those abs and that lower back, oh, we'll do a few of these just to strengthen and lengthen that spine, pull up, and back, very nice, good, step out, out again, press these back, Let's do a little reach to stretch out our back as well. 
Oh, that feels good. Elongating those muscles, yes? Very good. Bring this back in. And just stretch that foot and a little hamstring stretch forward. Let's circle this wrist, working up those wrists. And now the other one, forward. Stretch forward and circle this wrist. Good, grab that chair again and stretch forward. Bring these arms out and hug yourself, rounding that upper back. Take that shirt off, stretch up high. Just drop these elbows and stretch those biceps. Circle those wrists a bit. We want to find all 655 muscles. Give me a nice shoulder shrug and relax. Step to the side and let's retrieve our weights which you've had out of harm's way. So let's do a little bit of strengthening. We're going to lift these shoulders because lean muscle burns more calories than fat, right? So we're up and down. Oh, just strengthening those shoulders. Very nice. Let's set those on our thighs and see, can you stand? Are your quads strong enough to just do a standing up and down squat? And down, and one more. Very nice. Let's go to just simple biceps. Down and up. But I always like compound moves. So let's take our foot forward and work that knee and that quad at the same time. So we're doing bicep curls, strengthening that quad, strengthening those biceps. You're doing great. Oh, very nice. Change feet. This time, I want your palms looking at the floor. So you're going to also be strengthening those wrists. So we're coming up and down. Oh, working that knee, working that quad, working our forearms and wrists. Palms down, remember, not flipped up. They're just down. Try to give me 10 reps when we're doing these. Oh, very nice. And relax. Let's step out, out. Take that weight across just to strengthen that back. Nothing too fast. Pulling on the muscles in the back, the latissimus dorsi, behind your obliques, just strengthening that back. Very good, bring this back in. Just give me some more blood in that lower body, plus it's just fun to stampede. Whatever else you get to have a little fit like that. Take one of your weights and simply set it behind you. I'm just gonna simply do a bicep front, and we need at least 10 reps, all right? So help me count, it'll help you breathe. We need eight, seven, Six. Make sure you're in proper alignment. Arms straight forward, elbow up. Four, are you counting with me? And three, two, and let's hold it there. Good, bend that elbow, give that shoulder a little roll just to get the blood back into it. Other arm is up. And we're stretching that forward on an angle up if you can. If your range of motion isn't there yet, this is fine. But aim to keep that elbow up and alignment. I think we have about five more. And four. And three. And two. And one. Hold it there for a little bit just to resist the weight and bring it down. Roll that shoulder just to get it blood. We're gonna take and step out again and just gently circle the upper body. As we go the other way, let's take the lower body into it, the low back. Good, the other way, but just staying up tall to work those deltoids and shoulders. And now take it the other way. Oh, using that back. Very good. Heel toe in. Let's work those wrists. I want you to take this in, flip those wrists, and take it out. 
flip those wrists and bring them across and then flip it out and once more in and out oh press these back for a nice little chest press and release and press back and release and press back and release good arms forward give me some chest press opening up those pectorals they tend to shrink as we age and then we get rounded shoulders so we want to stretch back squeeze those shoulder blades together squeeze the trapezius and squeeze and gently squeeze ha let's put our hands on our hips do another hula hoop in that chair but take a broader range of motion and the other way oh how about a little core just take these weights and set them on your shoulders and pick one leg up and then the other and I want you to just give me a little crunch down squeeze that abdominal wall and crunch down and crunch down now give me a little twist across crunch and a little twist across crunch and a little twist across crunch and one more ha oh, very well step to the side I really don't want you to bend forward past 45 degrees to protect your spine open those shoulders a little bit hands forward round back into that chair give me a squeeze and I want you to move over to the side of your chair and I want you to work this leg back a little bit just reaching behind you with that leg so you're working this ilia so as you're working that hamstring even the quads getting a nice little workout oh bring that up and just round let's move off to the other side and same thing up nice and tall take this leg back just to work that hip joint a bit all the way back reaching reaching opening up that hip joint very good pull this up and gently round ha ah, hands I want you to work those hands open those fingers close those fingers open those fingers sometimes on this cooler days we have stiff hands we want to get the blood into them so give me forward and then I want you to take those wrists down so we're opening closing wrist down and opening closing wrist down shake them out gently drop for a nice neck stretch to the side breathe in and the other way a combination of aerobics a little weight a little stretching makes for a better day and up good face to the side how does your posture look are you rounded or are you pulled up nice and tall pull up nice and tall for me and I want you to gently look over your shoulder to the back to stretch that spine if you can give me a little neck stretch up to the corner oh that feels so good pull up and just a little stretch forward walk it around to the other side and again pull up nice and tall posture check twist to the back oh I feel that so good in my spine make sure you don't let your guard down and crunch those discs stay pulled up and take a look back at that corner to stretch that neck and back to the middle good who give me that stampede and I want kicks for this knee good keep this up tap that foot let's get those feet done today and gently circle that ankle so you keep that range of motion and the other way very nice good kick this other leg just to give this knee some range of motion and leave this up give me a little tap like you're tapping on the gas and then circle that ankle want to keep that flexibility in that foot very nice ha oh, big breath up and exhale down let's get a little more flexibility in there and down give me a little hallelujah 
How strong is your core strength? I want you to just lean over in one direction and lean over in one direction. And now pick up one hip and hold it and then the other way. Very good. Whew. Take these arms and just stretch to the corner. Breathe in and stretch to the corner. Good. Open these up again. TP style, Indian style. Stretch one way those deltoids and gently stretch the other way. Nice. Touch your shoulder and stretch that tricep. If we don't stretch these muscles, they can knot up, causing neck pain, shoulder pain. Grab your chair and take that behind you. Other one, touch your shoulder and lift it up. And then take it behind you and stretch. Feels so good. Round those elbows forward for that back and straighten up. And exhale and round back. Ha! Ah, just relax back into that chair. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Deep breath through your nose and exhale. Palms up. Try to practice a little gratitude here. Think of a couple things you're thankful for in this day or that have happened in your life. Always trying to accentuate the good not dwell on the bad things. Ha! Ah, reach up high. Show me those halos and gently take those shoulders around and the other way. So you got a little bit of aerobics, some strength building, some stretching, and some deep breathing. I hope you'll do this time to time when you need a little burst of energy and maybe just not up for a standing aerobics. Thank you for joining us today. Here's to feeling good.